sure we're all aware that GTA 6 is currently being developed by Rockstar Games. However, what's interesting is the fact that Rockstar itself falls under the ownership of Take-Two Interactive, a prominent American video game holding company traded on the stock exchange. And when it comes to financial matters, Take-Two Interactive is known for being unyielding. With the power to make final decisions about a game's direction, their choices do not always align with the best interests of gamers. The latest controversy surrounding Take-Two involves a legal dispute over a logo with Remedy Entertainment, the company responsible for Alan Wake 2 and a collaborator with Rockstar on the development of Max Payne. This decision to legally pursue a company they are currently collaborating with over a seemingly trivial matter, such as a dispute involving the letter R, exposes how Take-Two operates and serves as a window into how Take-Two's influence has steered the trajectory of the GTA series. Remedy unveiled their updated logo in April of the previous year, accompanied by a statement that highlighted the evolution of their portfolio beyond a single game era, stating, The bullet in the letter R in the old logo represented the era of Max Payne, but the Remedy of now is much bigger than a single game. We have a whole portfolio of games new and old. The intention was to modernize and redefine their visual identity to better align with the current vision of Remedy. Despite the stylized R logo, Take-Two has opposed it citing concerns about a potential public confusion. The conflict remains unresolved, and it raises questions about why Take-Two is inclined to escalate the situation to court rather than opting for an amicable resolution. This incident rekindles a broader conversation about Take-Two's influence on a game's direction. Recent revelations from the full leaked source code of GTA 5, stemming from the September 2022 breach of Rockstar servers, have brought to light abandoned Rockstar projects like Bully 2, alternative endings to GTA 5, and the cancellation of up to eight planned DLC story missions for GTA 5, likely in favor of GTA Online. Take 2 boasts ownership of over 14 franchises, including renowned titles like GTA, NBA 2K, Bioshock, and Borderlands, along with an extensive portfolio of mobile games. However, the true financial powerhouse within their collection is GTA Online, reportedly generating a staggering 500 million annually, an impressive achievement that significantly influences the company's strategic decisions. This substantial capital has been instrumental in sustaining the popularity of GTA 5, allowing it to be continually monetized and contributes to the delayed release of GTA 6. If we look back, GTA 4 received two additional single-player story DLCs that received widespread acclaim, establishing them as among the best downloadable content packs ever. This approach proved to be a lucrative means of generating additional revenue from the GTA 4 platform while providing continued support for the game. In contrast with GTA 5, Rockstar opted for a different monetization strategy, incorporating microtransactions that proved to be a massive success. However, this shift in focus led to the abandonment of eight planned DLCs for GTA 5 in favor of prioritizing GTA Online. This trend raises concerns that a similar fate awaits GTA 6. It's worth noting that companies often strategize and abandon internal projects for various reasons. The revelation of such information through leaks provided us a layer of transparency. However, it's disheartening to witness Take-Two pursuing legal action against Remedy over a logo dispute, especially considering their ongoing collaboration on a Max Payne remake. Anyway, what do you think about Take-Two's approach? Would you have preferred additional story DLCs for GTA 5? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and push that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. As always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.